Our first year in the Big 12 and as defending national champions has been off to a good start. We shook off the week two loss to Miami and have knocked off five in a row since. Thankfully, Miami dropped a big one in overtime to Georgia Tech last week, and so therefore we're right back at number two in the nation. Nebraska is 7-0 and ranked number one in the nation. That's wild. On the recruiting front, Salona Beach currently has the second best class in the nation, locking down eight four stars halfway through, and four of them were hidden gems. Cannot wait to replenish both offense and defensive lines with big guys like Robert Randall holding it down. We are still deep in conversation with numerous game changers and hope to bolster the class even more. I think being in a power four conference has definitely given us some extra clout to wine and dine prospects. And you know, the casual flex of winning a national championship never hurts. Speaking of the national championship, our dream of back-to-back -back championships is still alive. We will need to run the Big 12 with stars like Zach Landry, true freshman receiver who's averaging 83.6 yards per game. So lock in because the journey continues right here against Primetime and the Colorado Buffaloes. Salona Beach is ready to give the term Primetime a whole new meaning. So far, life after Shadur Sanders and Travis Hunter hasn't been all that kind. CU sitting at 3-3, three and 1-2 three, and two in the Big 12. They're looking to bring in guys like Mike Clark to make a difference. But I think Salona Beach has another idea for today, and we're traveling to Boulder on the road, high elevation. We'll soak up any moisture in the atmosphere that we can get and then translate that moisture into energy for the field to take them down. Kicking off the second half of Big 12 play with a handoff to Scope, just getting a solid six. Man, I hope you're all enjoying the action so far. Big 12 football has been fun, yet we're showing we're a dominant powerhouse no matter where we go. I need to see where the day one Salona Beach fans are at. If you're a day one sponge fan, I need you to comment down below. I'm a real sponge. Because life wasn't always this easy. I remember struggling at the bottom. And now everywhere I look, I see stars like Landry who just want to come to Salona Beach and get to the NFL. And trust me, guys like Landry, guys like Zach Miller are on the fast path to the NFL. And they'll be in the NFL faster if they're not making boneheaded plays like that last one. It's all good. We're warming up with some second half football, so no pressure because that fourth down stop right here will give us a chance to get the ball back. We got three comparable tight ends on this team, but the one we're looking forward to right now is Stone Boston. My mission is to not throw another int this entire game. Just this Zach Landry guy, man. I'm telling you, he's a machine. Just past midfield. Let's scramble out to the right here. I felt some pressure. Thankfully, Williams gets some separation. So far, so good on this drive, and I got dumped because I couldn't get an extra second to breathe. I think for the new game, I'm going to play on Heisman, but not mess with the sliders just to see how a true Heisman difficulty feels. Because right now, I know I messed with the sliders, and they're pretty busted going through the line. But that hasn't stopped us moving it so far, and Scope is going to carry this one and finish the drive off. Big six. Third down here, sending out the linebacker blitz. Parrish gets through. Looking for one more stop on this drive, sending in some action going up for a contested ball it falls to the ground Carson Bynum was in coverage Mr. Dion what's going on my man where's the primetime football we were talking about and that's some primetime rack starting off the second quarter with a read option Zach Miller is off to the races he's got a block he's got some room 23 yards midfield yeah oh no oh no oh no that coverage baited me there. I don't know what I was thinking. Pulling together a good defensive stand here until Bowling just decided to take it and run. First and goal, CU threatening. And yeah, he's got him wide open. Castillo making it a little bit of a game, more than we were hoping for. Looking to convert on the third down play. Oh man, we'll just take off. Miller's got this and he's got some extra. Looking to give the Salona Beach faithful something to cheer about. And first and goal is looking optimistic. So let's just hand it off to Scope, see if he can make the fans happy. So let's go back to the air attack, and I'm going to just lob one up, and in more snags it down. If we can get a stop here, we will get a chance to get some extra points here on offense, and that'll do. So a pretty rare game right now where we're just dominating on the offensive yards. So on third and 10, I'm just going to see if anything can go here. We'll step up and hit Landry. No time left. Unfortunately, couldn't call a timeout in time. Midfield, second half football, and I'm just going to dump one up and over. Just get a few. Need to finish our drives here in the second half and talk about 
getting disrupted. Instead, I'm gonna try to finish on this fourth down and I think we can do it. There's Wiggins. Let's go ahead and call a play action. Blitz coming, it was not picked up. So it's up to the O here. Stone Boston potentially as we're getting hit. What a way to come down with it. Now back in a position. Let's go ahead and finish the drive. There he is, true freshman superstar, Zach Landry. Give him all of them abilities. He's trying to get up to platinum before he's out of here. Good things come when we dial in and finish. And we're finishing now on both offense and defense. Let's go, boys. Read option. Let's go back to scope. There we go. He's got a nice run, and he gets the first. One play away from the red zone, or why not one play away from pay dirt? Stone Boston, how you doing? Came out on a mission second half. See you keeping us on our toes. The mission is still the same. Defend and finish. Here we go. Let's make the stand and... And we do, <laughs> thanks to a uh, courteous call. Last chance for the buffs. If they don't get this fourth down conversion, I consider it as good as done, yet they do find the open hole. Now looking to hold and make it fourth and goal. Bruh, we choke again. Just want to ice this game out with a first down, and that's what we're looking to do. Mr. Prime trying to dial it in. Let's go ahead and give Mr. Prime the play we've been saving for this moment. Third and seven, eight yards, first down. What you gonna do? And that is all she wrote, folks. Salona Beach comes into Boulder, takes it over. This is Salona Beach territory now, and we're moving. Will the real primetime football please stand up? We're ready to take on Houston this week. Bring on the Cougars. They're headed down to Salona Beach to get soaked on up. Now, Houston is, in fact, near a body of water. They're used to humidity, used to the ocean, so... Should have a little bit familiarity. But we'll see if they're ready when a tidal wave comes and takes them out of this town. Let's go ahead and go with a little bit of trickery here. Flicking it to our running back. That's right. He's throwing the ball and brother. All right. That did not work according to plan. And oh my goodness, what is going to plan with this defensive swarm? There really can't be much of an excuse when we have multiple gem linemen now holding it down. Flag on the play. Maybe that was a little bit of a face mask. Yep, that's right. So automatic first down. Third and 10, stacking the the backfield it was all just a look to trick them man no tricks about that defensive lineman field goals who do you think i am i'm throwing touchdowns all day baby and zach landry hauls in the first one of this game i can't get enough of that man pause on defense everyone is a legitimate threat out here and look at that db play swatting it down caldwell has been all over the place we want back-to-back -back chips and stone boston wants to be a part of something special i think if we sprint out to our right here avoid pressure and oh my goodness off our back toenails get that one off that was a little crazy this is definitely a zach miller moment let me slow it down i mean come on man could you do that i mean i don't know if i can do that i have looked pretty good in the day playing some flag football but not that good houston defense playing like how i remember i'm swiss cheese in the big 12 k-state would run circles around these guys but now it's not just k-state running circles it's salona beach too no such thing as a mercy rule in football but i'm about to show no mercy this entire game already passing over 200 yards in the first quarter of play say it ain't so i will not go stone boston carry me home i said stone boston carry me home first and goal and now to officially top it off stone boston wide open big six they desperately need something to go right this drive and wow a one-handed grab but of course all their luck fourth down and they're punting you already know philip rivers we would have definitely gone for it if that was us in that scenario and look at that throw on the run all right bro because we feel like playing with our food just a little i'm gonna try the trickery again let the running back throw the rock he gets it off and it's a wobbly duck we will connect on one of those one of these days i can guarantee it it's just a matter of time fourth down on the line here a little curl flat williams dropped it with the pressure so we're turning it over it was just the break houston needed as they flick it out in the speed option and go negative three the biggest down of all here third and goal he's scanning and chucking it away no sorry happily gonna go for some more points here before this quarter's up and it's our dog check of the game who is gonna be the dog on this one right here and it looks like tim williams sneaky linky back in the end zone oh baby that was so cool zach miller could tell the defense was lost in the sauce and found his man 15 seconds third and eight that's all the time i need if we can just get the stop i'll be able to make a play on 
offense and scratch that. So hoping to get it back for a play on offense, but hey, that's okay. We'll go ahead and finish out this quarter in the halftime with an interception from Gabe White, the X two-way star. This team is loaded on talent, so I can't afford to bench any five-star Landry type guys. If Houston can't score on this drive, I'm just this close from writing them off because it's it's getting a little late. Let's bring in the lightning blitz and we drag him down fourth and two. Probably going to hold to another field goal unless they go for it now. And they choose field goal. Not really sure the what and why they're doing what they're doing, but hey, what am I to complain about? And how did we just miss the wide open touchdown? We don't get those wide open touchdown looks every day and stone Boston, way to hang on. All right, well, this game's pretty much over in my book. I think we got it with another touchdown here. Houston is out of reach. And whoop, there it is. I say whoop, there it is. Salona Beach, victorious. Is it a surprise? I don't think so. Oscar Kane, you or a Salona Beach sponge. And hold the phone. We're number one in the nation. That means Nebraska fell. And oof, they fell in a big way. I don't even see them all the way down to 14. They lost to Minnesota. Ouch. That means it's time to go out and play like a one seed. Time for the road show to hit Cincinnati. We're wearing the limes. You know, we're going to be an eyesight. Maybe some might say an eyesore, but I think the lime and lavender looks good on the boys and it's going to be what is a contributing factor to our win today. Came off of a royal dumping of our last opponent. Let's see if we can dump Cincinnati as well. I'm gonna call the bench play, find Dwayne Cade open. Look at that move. Going out of bounds on that last one. He was really just trying to show out for the fans and showing out for the home fans. It's Johnson with the pick. So <laughs> wait, I'm just kidding. It's Dwayne Cade with the recovery. It was all part of the plan. Don't you know? That's exactly what we wanted to happen. Cincinnati must be just having that type of year, am I right? Because now we give up a touchdown. Stone the Bone, Stone Cold Boston, whatever you want to call him. He is a fan favorite out here, and he did the work. Got Jason Parsons here, the quarterback for Cincinnati, and he finds Robertson, who is free down the sideline. Ryan Robertson's averaging like seven yards per carry and staying true to his clip. That's a big run. Well, they need to make sure he's accounted more in this game plan for the rest of the game. And Barry was all over that one. All right, let's get the chant going in the crowd. Everybody with me. Defense. 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 Okay. Oh, no. Well, that didn't work well in the last play. Uh, let's see if we can get out of here with a three-point stop. Third and goal. Slip screen, and Holly was there as well as the linebacking core. I couldn't help but notice Chris Harmon's back in here right now. What happened to Zach Miller? Anyways, we're going to turn it over. Third and goal, sending in another blitz. Let's see if anyone gets through. Not in time for Mobley. Touchdown, Bearcats. All right, folks, I decided to bench Harmon because I want to see true freshman David Hall. This is a glimpse at future right here as he has the intangibles, 92 throw power. You're all getting a peek at least this drive of what is in store for Salona Beach. Landry Hall connection to the house touchdown. That is the future of sponge football right here. Once Zach Miller's in the NFL playing on Sundays, you'll have just as good, if not potentially better, David Hall and Zach Landry. Still can't get over the fact that he just did that on his second pass in collegiate football. And well, Salona Beach fans enjoyed that moment while it lasted because look who's back. It's Mr. Zach Miller, old reliable. Let's go ahead and dial in for some better results. Uh, I like that sound, don't you? And I don't like that. On the bright side, defense doing their thing as per usual until that play, thankfully stopping him one yard short. Honestly, man, I'm itching for more David Hall football. I liked what I saw on his one play, but how could you not like Zach Miller? Zach Miller will have to wait and see what the man chooses to do with his next step because he is a certified baller. Does he declare for the NFL draft or does he run it back with the sponges one more year? All very important questions we're going to have to start asking ourselves in anticipation for the depth chart next season. Well, shoot, Cincinnati pulled off one extremely fast here, thankfully giving us time to now return the favor. Let's go score six. When in doubt, chuck it out that's what i always say and look at the step he's got on the man covering him and joe davis no what in the world the opponent was burnt to a crisp out there i'm not even gonna lie so thankfully landry sure hands answers back 12 seconds remain i'm gonna go a quick strike we got him run 
running up to the line, running it back here. Just about four, three, two, sacked, timeout. This is like the one time Phillip Rivers is okay with settling for three. So we're up by eight at half, third and 21. I see you there, my friend Cade. Kicking the field goal just makes too much sense, but going for it is RMO. Here we go, a little fun stuff here. Got a nice wide open Landry. Have yourself a day. So Lona Beach is on the edge of glory and we get it off, thankfully, in the face of adversity there. Dwayne Kate looked like Dwayne The Rock Johnson with that hit. Zach Landry's been putting on a show today and we're just gonna keep racking up them yards. Looking to continue adding to the big day, letting one rip and the DB Simpson was there for it, man. Sometimes like they have the step and then either we get hit or disrupted at the line. See, as we're getting hit there i think that affected some of the throw power because i know my man can get that to the end zone regardless fourth quarter football i'm calling it here one more touchdown puts this thing out of reach and bada bing bada boom zach miller off he goes i'm thinking if we get some blocks here we can cash in with a big six on the ground and that's exactly what we do with nolan scope and enough said about the fourth quarter here not much else to see besides you know the use here six catches 184 yards great clip 30 something yards per catch one after the other after the other bring on the red raiders it's time to wrap traveling down to texas now go from cincinnati to texas colorado early in the year we're definitely traveling i think to further places in the big 12 scrambling to the left let's see if anyone wants to take off here i probably should have thrown it to the other guy and that was messy forced to face the raiders here in the danger zone just looking to make a stop and we do looks like the red raiders are much more aggressive than other teams and they go for it and it fails miserably decked back against the wall again we're gonna look to make a stop however and what just in and out of the four defenders there first and goal they're lining up to cash in and they do so after that blunder there we're gonna try to get some offense and boston's in gonna need to pick it up here if this one's gonna go on and in our favor just at midfield why not go back to williams in team builder dynasty man it's just such a cool moment when you can really rely on almost any offensive player on the team makes it easy when i get to situations like this like i still got a lot of guys i can trust to get it done so i'm gonna need to trust guys like stone boston to get into that end zone and make me proud no margin for error as the number one team in the nation and goodness gracious even in a tight window we threw a pick there's that error we had no margin for struggling early with the turnovers that is not a good recipe for success thankfully kevin goodman is gonna pick it off and it's all good man really don't want to get a safety here so handed it off to the fullback gets a couple still very much in danger zone blitz is coming just throwing one out Cade cannot hold on third and eight they're sending in yet another blitz i should expect nothing less all right red raiders giving us fits actually in this one i hate to admit it but it's true they're moving it down the field and here we go third down big stop we'll hold them the three we'll look to see if we can get points here with one minute to go stone boston getting open we're there no more of that goal line interception garbage we're just gonna hand it off play it safe because that went exactly to plan we'll just hand it back off to wiggins and even more backwards third down we're gonna pass that's right and i am scrambling looking throwing Hate to say it, but we're settling for three, and it's a 10-3 game at half. It has not been in our favor this one early, and thankfully, we should get a chance to get the ball back. Second half adjustments were made in the locker room. It's just a matter of if the team can actually dial it in. What a champ getting up after that last shot, and anyone surveying, throwing, got him. Looking to get something to go our way. It's Hicks, the fullback X tight end convertee making a big play. Like I said, anyone's a threat out here to step up and make a big play. And hello, Superman, Zach Landry. If rookie of the year was a thing here in college football, he'd win it. So look out for him on the freshman All-American list. I'm telling you, this team is a great red zone holding type unit. I mean, just check it out. Holly and co dropping that man. Now that we got that out of our system, back to the run game, up the middle. It is fourth quarter and our perfect streak right now is in jeopardy. Perfect big 12 streak that is we have already lost to miami if you don't recall gonna need to dial up a big one here joe davis are you that guy pal you are i needed him most and he came through for me that's exactly 
what we asked for. And Tim Williams is going to top it off with the cherry. Now I need big boy Hicks to use every inch of that frame. Get in there. Job's not finished. We got some defense to play, folks, and it's going to get done. Let's go ahead and run this game out and take one from Texas Tech. Now in a position where we're chewing their timeouts and we're going to chew them all. A couple yards away from a fresh set and we got it. You can write this one. Good night. The defense should know what's coming. It's a run. Spoiler alert. Touchdown. They don't stop it and we're unstoppable. That's why Phillip Rivers is the GOAT. The coach was able to turn it around at halftime after it was looking bleak. Make it make sense, man. We won, yet we fall to the number two seed because look who's your new number one, Ohio Bobcats. That's right, 10-0 and out of the MAC. That's real fitting to see something like that come from Ohio. Anyways, I don't got time for distractions. I gotta go take care of some frogs and check who's coming to visit. Sean Gooden, Kellen Page, Todd Smith, more four and five star recruits for your pleasure. Bring on them froggies, man. Salona Beach sponges, frogs, we're ready to get this thing on. Back in black, it's always fun to show out with these things, and Stone Boston, speaking of showing out, stay up, big man. Stone Boston is probably one of the hardest guys to tackle on this roster, let's be real. And dude, 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 how did we do that? Sure-handedly fitting it at the grass level, just bending over, sliding down, how low can you go? Can you go down low? How low can you go? First angle. Within the five, we're handing it off, right? Wrong. All right, I learned my lesson. It's a handoff draw, and would like to see, see if we can salvage a touchdown, please, and thank you, Dwayne Cade. Third and seven. It's a play action. He's got his man, Mueller. Frog's making quick work of us on this drive. I'm actually surprised. Anyways, we got second and goal. Play action. Get deck, son. Oh, you know, it was just your friendly neighborhood defensive end. That's right. You know, it'd be cool. I wish there was like a coach analysis panel that showed you like your most common play calls, successful plays, work first plays, yards per play, stuff like that. That's one of those things I don't think's even being mentioned once yet for the new game, but imagine the level analysis you could do on your own play style. I know EA's already got this current year edition ready to go, but hey, if you're ever needing another mindset, voice of opinion, whatever, like, I got you. After that lovely run from Scope, it's first and goal. Stone Boston, the red zone threat. He is stone cold when it comes within the 20. So it's third and 10 and our defense once again getting her done. Let's go ahead and put away the frogs early in this one. I don't need to see much more besides a stone Boston bomb. Rock Boston, his older brother, absolutely soaking it up the way his brother is playing tight end out here. Rock hard Boston in stone cold Boston. What a dynamic duo. Right back into the goal zone. Scope. Pretty much the two minute drill here. We don't have much more messing around to do. And wow, force that one into double coverage. Not a good idea. One more chance for points. I think we should go for it. I got to sharpen up for the 10 and 0 Bobcats. They're going to be a force from the Mac. And if I'm going to stop them, I'm going to need all the support from the team. Just like bone stone cold Boston. TCU has literally had no answers for him all day. And look at this. What are they doing? No one wants to play with the big boy, eh? My man already has over 200 yards in just one half of football. At this rate, he'll be setting records if all we do is just keep pumping him. For now, we'll pump our other man, Dwayne Cade. How are you feeling? Yeah, and we're at that point where we're this close to putting in backups. It's been a rule of the day. King of the gridiron. And added up to 240 46 receiving yards, two touchdowns for Boston right now. He also passes his own record for passing yards in a season. We still got a couple more to go. Fourth quarter, fourth and 16, trusting in our guys. Let's go ahead and go for it and go for the big six. Nah, pick. This game is over, that I know, but I had to get another look at David Hall, who just got stripped down there. And on this third down, he has a big opportunity to convert and ice it, and he does. And whoop, there it is. I say whoop, there it is. 10th consecutive win. Stone Cold Boston player of the game, of course. And oh baby, we hit the mother load led by Gabe Robinson, your newest Salona Beach kicker. And we got George James, Willis James, Chad Johnson, Todd Smith, Chris Sullivan, just for giggles. Looks like we've been good boys this year. Santa's come early, fulfilling our wish list of all of our needs. I mean, check out all the high 70s and 80 overall players. Let's keep the goodness jolly and cheer going, man. West Virginia Mountaineers. Let's go spread some love to the Mountain Mamas. West Virginia. It is a cold, frigid December icy game. There's not much in the air to soak up except frozen water. 
So if we can adapt to that, we'll be fine. Not trying to talk a big talk or nothing, but I honestly expected us to lose more games in the Big 12. Like realistically, losing like three games would have been actually probably realistic. And by realistic, I mean like by my expectations because we're actually just blowing right through the Big 12. Truly is a testament to the coaching staff and the culture that Phillip Rivers is bringing to this team. Must admit, Snow is definitely a little bit out of our element. I'm gonna go deep to Landry. He's got it. West Virginia. Virginia. It's really cold up here. Take me home to the place. Just mixed up two songs there, but that's a good run. First in goal play action, Landry attack. It's six. There's his 11th TD of his young season. Rain, snow, or shine. We're here to run it back and just take names. So Zach Miller's going to step up in the snow, trudge his way forward. At six and five, West Virginia wants to secure themselves a better bowl game. But I hate to be the bear of bad news. We got some other ideas out here, like like throwing picks to Brewer in the snow. So uh, maybe that's our cue to start running it more. And right on cue, we're handing it off. We're going up the middle. Gonna get that third and one. We chew clock. We worked our way down the field. We're all the way into the red zone. Soaking up a lot of time on the clock so the opposition can't do much with it. So we like that. And we like Landry springing into the secondary for a big six. When you tack on snow to an already top tier defense, you can imagine what's happening on the other side of the ball. Three and out city. Whereas for us, we really don't mind the situation at all. Especially guys like Landry who... Don't go up to compete for that one. This is the first time all game our unit has felt threatened out here on defense, but we're not gonna be threatened for much longer, fourth down. Snow is really kicking in as the opponent quarterback has four for 14 on passing. Four completions, eight yards. Yeah, it's not the best day at the office as we're already getting more than that on just two plays. Just gonna try to clean up the game here for the rest of the day and run on out of here. But of course, we're not finished with the day until Guys like Landry hit their record mark and look at him go. Another play action, why not see if anyone bites? And the only thing biting there was our offensive line. What does one do on third and 30? Scramble left, maybe buy some time, throw in deep, a risky ball. And yo, what happened to his ribs? So that was a worrying sight to see on the last offensive drive. And I hope he's doing better now as McCullough who Thank you, sir. And out comes David Hall, the future of Salona Beach, but at what cost? Zach Miller going down. However, we're in good hands here with him at the helm. I feel like Hall is one of those just plug and play guys you can just trust off the get go. All right, David Hall, no pressure. Leave it all out on the field, my guy. Throw a quick dart to Landry. That's always a good choice. It just dawned on me that David Hall is one of the first to ever solely play in the Big 12 as everyone else on the team had Mountain West exposure. And wait, never mind. What have I been saying all year? Zach Landry is a true freshman. So David Hall is also a true freshman. And this is a freshy to freshy tandem out here. Goodness, that means the future is bright in San Diego. I think the last time we ran a trip option it ended in disaster so uh, i'm worried here and it did again however Dwayne cade falls on it for the touchdown really not sure why this was all bottled into the last second here because west virginia just came storming down the field and we just had that put that icicle dagger in them with a the pick by galdwell thankfully it's a snowy one and we pull it off david hall had to finish this one out did well in relief landry cracked the thousand yard mark 12 plus touchdowns what a dog wait what's going on here we win a Again, yet fall to third. Am I missing something here? Like, how are we getting outranked by other people? So this shows two, but then on the top left, it shows three. Alabama with two losses. Are you seriously giving them the same amount of points as me? That makes no sense whatsoever. Yeah, this really makes no sense to me right now how Alabama gets the tiebreaker. Like, we're in the power four now. This shouldn't be a matter of like, oh, Mountain West, lesser tier. I get, you know, the SEC is usually the toughest conference in all of football, but come on, they have two losses. We have one. For now, all I can do is focus on my Big 12 championship matchup here against the number five Baylor Bears. I think a win here against a top five opponent in the championship game has to get us over the hurdle again. Ain't nobody is going to be resting in this one. It's the Big 12 championship game. All starters got to go Balls to the wall, guns a-blazing. We want to bid into the national championship game. And remember, old school classic football before this season only has the top, well, four getting in. 
to the competition, but in NCAA 14 rules, it's the top two playing for the natty. We're gonna go off the rip here with a nice flat to Dwayne Cade. He's gonna bounce free. He's gonna spring to the outside, get himself a chunk play to start it off with a bang. We mean business in this one. I don't care if they're three, five, one ranked, we're gonna take them down. The best part is not worrying about the snow games like we saw in West Virginia. Cade, Cade. If the running backs aren't getting it done, I think we can go to our friend Stone Boston, the big red zone tight end target. On paper, it's shocking to see Baylor doing this good. Like they're an 80 something overall and we're in the high 90s. That's why it's always funny when you get this far into a rebuild to see some of the storylines, you'll be surprised at some of the teams that make it up the ranks. Baylor clearly wants to ruin our day, spoil the fun, and I don't want to let it happen. 31, let's bluff it like we're going to send the house and they do send Stanley up the middle anyway for six. We got a second and 10. Gonna scramble to our left stone boston getting open there but we'll just take it let's go ahead and send our guys out on a mission and see if they can come through for us over the course of the game you take some gambles and right now is one of them quick slant in has got it for us third and ten yeah we got a man let's get that first down baby fresh set dropping it out to Cade again red zone football stone boston across the middle we miss him that is a super rare thing for us to do that's uncharacteristic really points are points we need them here in the big 12 championship game we're up 10-7 he's taken off and we're gonna deck him and make him fumble unfortunately his rb was there to pick it up i'm hoping we got to him there rattled him with that big sack or the strip i should say as gabe white just comes out of no man's land lurks it this team is littered with undergrads that are ballers in cade one-handed snag well it's fourth down i'm definitely going for it we got tim williams fourth and six i think we're gonna call this hitch corner play see if Langer, anyone sneaks open and honestly we're not gonna get it dude there's a guy on our tail a defensive battle has been carrying out in this one ever since the end of the second quarter and big pick. We have not made the most of our opportunities thus far, but talk about opportunity. Landry, what a catch. So I'm gonna sprint back out, look at the field, connect with Williams, Timmy boy, fighting to first and five. And just like that, we can pound the rock to scope and try to fall in. Let's go ahead and try it again, catch him napping, power O, oh, yes, no. There's no way we take the ball here at the one and not go for it. I'm not actually gonna run it, I'm gonna pass because I think they think I am gonna run it and yo that worked and that was all the cushion we really ever needed as we're able to ice this one out under three minutes to go uh, more points here spells trouble for baylor hate to be the debbie downer but i don't think there's anything they can do now and let's go sponge nation you're officially big 12 champs we soaked um up in a major way down on his knees miller is celebrating something that is got to be a historic accomplishment two mountain west championships a big 12 championship a national championship man has a knack for the championship let's go ahead and hold up that big 12 trophy nowadays it's like that cool wwe belt so i can't wait to see that in the new game no we have no heisman winners but we do win the Vince Lombardi Award for Adrian Young. That's the defensive lineman that took over for John John this year. And we did it. We made it back to the national championship game going up against the Ohio Bobcats. 81 overall, 86 offense, 76 defense. They're the one seed in the nation. This has been crazy. Last year, we beat BYU in the national championship. Now we get to go up against the Ohio Bobcats. Dude, I can't make it up. It's been some funny opponents here in the college football playoffs. And let's look at the team that got us here, starting off with Zach Miller, the number one passer in the nation. Freshman Zach Landry was 13th best in the nation. Oh yeah, and tackles galore. The defense is the name of our game. Oh man, Holly was one sack away from being undisputed number one very good year from our guys all around four interceptions from gabe white and kevin goodman well huge salute to our guys they've got us to this point and it's time to clear the last hurdle ohio bobcats get ready for a soak down all our hard work through the big 12 i honestly feel rewarded to face ohio bobcats who went nine to know the mac a perfect 13 and 0 this year top 10 offense they cooked people and a pretty solid defense too led by brant who had over 2,000 total yards and 28 touchdowns this is the main event everything you've been waiting for 
the whole accumulation of our body of work. It's bobcat football. And I hear cats don't like getting wet, so they better watch out when we start soaking them up. Just the way we like it in the national championship game, we're starting with the ball. Salona Beach has made it here three times in a row. What a testament to the dynasty that has been built. And as we trot onto the field here, here is the first play of the game. You already know, four verticals. I'm just gonna let it rip and see what happens, and it does wonders. Nothing like testing them, seeing what they're made of with a strike to start the game. Make it two strikes. You know what they say, three strikes and you're out. So let's get strike number three. There it is. Touchdown, Zach Landry. And on that touchdown, he broke the school record on yards as a true freshman. First look at this Bobcat offense. They got a star quarterback, star running back, and there he is. Brent has been a running machine this year. Honestly, I'm low-key worried about his run attack, but our defense is a complete unit. Sienna, Ohio here in the championship game has me all like geeked up about the next game. Like imagine taking a team like Ohio to this point. That's really cool. I hate to be the bearer of bad news to these guys, man, but it's just not gonna last. I know they got a little drive going now, but don't get too comfy. Ohio is trying to make me eat my words right now. And Gabe White says, nah, I'll bail you guys out. Let's get the pick. Gabe White playing early hero in this one. And then it's just right back to work. Nothing different here. It's really just another day in the office. I'm not concerned about nothing I see. Look at all the lime and lavender that came out for this one. They want to see a two-peat. And chunk after chunk, we just want a little challenge from these guys. Like, is that too much to ask for? Dwayne Cade touchdown. I think if they're not careful, we're on route here for a Georgia TCU type natty. It's just the start of the second quarter and you already know we're going for that third touchdown. So let's drop it back with a fake run. Stone Boston is open and off to the races he goes, breaking free from two dudes. Fourth and 10, we're going for it. That's how much confidence we have in our guys and it didn't pay off. They blew it in the red zone last time. Will they blow it again here with a read option? Nope, they're going to drop back to pass actually and yeah, no man's land. When a play is called NCAA Blitz, I think it sounds like a good choice to run and hey, we'll hold it to fourth. Bobcats miss their field goal. It's just not their day right now, but they'll get another chance. And well, so much for that chance. It's third and forever to go. They're gonna go out to somehow the sideline where he caught it, but he was out of bounds. I don't think we need to drag this one out much further as I'm gonna throw the finishing touches on this one and ice it out. That's right. I'm talking about icing it out in the second quarter. And what I mean is if you let me get up three touchdowns in the second quarter, it's good as done. And they'd stack the box here. It's about the inches line, lobbing it up, Boston wide open, touchdown. F in the chat for the Ohio Bobcats, man. It's getting bleak for these guys. Ah, sigh. I hope they keep their chin up and try again next year because they have worked hard. But my condolences to the state of Ohio as Salona Beach in San Diego are getting rowdy. Back-to-back -back championships is insane, let alone one. The city of San Diego got their first one last year. Let's see what the defense gives them, and I think the blitz up the middle is a good call. We're ready for Castillo. It's fourth down. Chad Slasher with his third TFL. Ohio settled for three just so they can say they got some points in the national championship. Respect to them for that. Zach Miller's put his heart and soul into this team, and we thank him for leading us to the second national championship victory in school history. I have brought out David Hall, the future of Salona Beach, to get some reps and exposure at the biggest stage. After all, this could be David's team next season if our guy declares for the draft. So that's something to keep an eye on. I mean, how many chances do you get to say you played in a national championship game? So David's going to make the most of it. Find Stone Boston for an additional pad on touchdown. Five for five, 62 yards in a tutty. The final minute of the game, David down the field once more. It's an air raid to the very end. And he's connecting with the other tight end, Brian Williams, for a national championship touchdown. Final seconds of the national championship game. Two, one, Ohio snaps it, handoff draw, dropped, fourth down. That's gonna be it. Pop the champagne, whatever you gotta do. We're victorious once more, back to back. San Diego could not be prouder of Salona Beach. Ohio Bobcats, man, hats off to you guys for getting this far. Uh, it's got to sting. You know, I was there once two years ago. I never want to look back on that moment again because it's been only up since then. Philip Rivers, you're the GOAT. Way to turn this no-name program 
into something and there was no doubt about this one guys looks like there's a special trophy for back-to-back -back national champs and look at that Salona Beach has got it now up to 72 and 34 after eight years with Salona Beach Philip Rivers man has locked himself in history I mean check it out 0 and 12 in the beginning in a tumultuous first three years it really picked up in year four with the Hawaii Bowl and we never looked back what a story what a ride it's been some good players grab graduating we salute them for their service and we got some pros up in here Kevin Goodman a second round pick Tim Williams a third round receiver Scott Osborne in the third round as a linebacker Eric Muse didn't even play that much more of like a fill in plug and play type guy still got a fifth round pick that just shows you how deep the defensive line was and then of course Nolan Scope a seventh round flyer might surprise some teams a central Michigan safety wants to transfer in and you know what denied two recruits on our list still Sean Gooden a five star athlete 80 overall he's got extremely high man in zone coverage as well as good speed good catching route running he's a dual threat as well as 79 overall middle linebacker out of high school with 90 tackle 85 speed high 70 power and finesse moves like what else could you ask for? We asked and we received. We got our two guys. And Salona Beach did it. The number one signing class in all of college football again. You see that right? Maxed out prestige stars. If y'all thought this last season was good, I mean, just look at the training results. So many 90s. Our last defensive coordinator got plucked for a head coaching job. So we got a new one and he is pretty talented himself. Off the rip, 20 skill points. And that brings the number one team, Salona Beach, to the preseason you know i think we've done our fair share of things had our time to shine in the sun i've enjoyed the ride this far it's been a blast rebuilding this team from the ground up so i hope you've enjoyed the series as much as i have and what do you say do we run it back one more for an encore do we attempt to go for the three-peat well i guess we'll just have to find out let me know if you're soaking it up hit that subscribe button and keep it here with your boy king sponge